Well, good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us for our Friday night service. You're very welcome indeed, and I hope you've had a good day uh, so far. Now, it's been quite a stormy day, as you know. There's a big storm uh, upon us at the moment, and uh, it's, uh, it's certainly blowy out there at the moment. But uh, we trust uh, that you're all keeping well, safe and warm. Great night for having the fire lit uh, to, to be at home. We're venturing out now. I'm recording this at about five o'clock in the evening. We're venturing out to see the light show down for the Georgian Day in a few in a, in an hour or so's time. So hopefully uh, we don't get soaked and uh, it's a good night to be enjoyed. So I'm going to share with you this evening, uh, as we usually do, from late evening office. And if you have a prayer book, page 162. If you don't have a prayer book, there's a little service sheet uh, that you can download off our church website, the Friday night page. If you don't have access either, don't worry, just feel free just to listen in and be part in any way that you can. So let's take a moment uh, as we approach the Lord in worship uh, and in prayer this evening. Blessed be our God for all time now and forevermore. Amen. Glory be to you, our God. Glory be to you. Holy Spirit, comforter, treasure of all goodness and giver of life. Come and dwell in us. Cleanse us from all sin and in your love bring us to salvation. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Going to turn now uh, to Psalm 91. If you have a prayer book, it's on page 698. And uh, these are, I guess, one of my favourite psalms, uh, a lovely psalm uh, of reassurance and uh, one that inspires us to have courage through faith in the Lord. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High and abides under the shadow of the Almighty, sh shall say to the Lord, my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I trust. For he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his wings and you will find it shall be safe under his feathers. His faithfulness shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror that by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day of the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor of the sickness that destroys at noonday. Though a thousand fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, yet it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold to see the reward of the wicked. But you, um, because you have made the Lord your refuge, and the Most High your stronghold, there shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your tent. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways, they shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall not he shall tread upon the lion and the adder, and the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot, because they have set their love upon me, therefore will I deliver them. I will lift them up, because they know my name. They will call upon me, and I will answer them, I am with them in trouble. I will deliver them and bring them to honour. With long life will I satisfy them and show them my salvation. Glory to God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. I'm going to turn now to our scripture reading from this evening, and it's from uh, the, book of the a book of Joshua, a book of Joshua, and it's from chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. After the death of Moses, a servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' assistant, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now then, you and all these people get ready to cross the river Jordan into the land I'm about to give them, to the Israelites. I will give you every place where you set your foot, as I promised Moses, uh, and your territory will extend from the desert of Leb to Lebanon, and from the great rivers, the Euphrates, to all the Hittite country, to the Mediterranean Sea in the west. No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I shall be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous, because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their ancestors to give them. Be strong and courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the, from the right or to the left, that it may be successful wherever you go. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will pro be prosperous and successful. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. 
Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Let us pray. Lord Lord God, we just want to thank you for these words and ask um, that you might help us to understand and to be courageous and have courage and strength uh, through faith in you. Lord, may you just reassure us that you go before us and that you have plans and purposes for each of us. Help us to be faithful to you and help us to hear your voice. In your name we pray. Amen. Now, this evening, I'd like for us to begin by thinking about what worries us and what makes us afraid. Now, um, today's COVID figures uh, crossed 2,000 cases and uh, and also we've heard today, uh, sorry, last night and, and this morning about this new variant um, that, that, uh, that is obviously attracting concern at this time. And, you know, that is a very natural source of something to cause us fear. Uh, and uh, would make us afraid and that's a very natural thing but you know whether it's COVID or whether it's something else we all fear something if anybody tells us that they're not afraid of anything well I, I, I wonder uh, are they telling the truth because I personally think we all have our fears and as we enter this new winter season with all of this looming cannot help but feel fearful and I'm sure we're not alone especially um, for folk who feel vulnerable and uh, whose livelihoods maybe are under stress or of course people who work in the health service in particular um, you know that's this is a a time of great concern and at times like this when I feel afraid and you know I'm struggling to 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 not be overwhelmed by concerns I often think of Joshua who was told by God as we heard in this reading be strong and courageous do not be afraid do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And when I think of Joshua and the promise that he received, I find comfort amidst my fears. Jesus himself told his disciples before his ascension, as they were venturing into a world of immense uncertainty, as they were going to be leaders of the church and people who, who, who speak of him, he told them, I am sure, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Real words of reassurance for you and for me even today. So there's some words of encouragement uh, tonight, hopefully uh, for each of us, especially when we think of about Joshua. Joshua himself was born and he was given the Hebrew name, and uh, uh, forgive me if I get this pronunciation wrong, Hosea, I think it is, H-O-S-H-E-A. And that literally means he was saved. But Moses later changed his name and made it clear who saves us. Moses gave Hosea, uh, the name Joshua, which means Lord, the Lord is salvation. The name Joshua is the Hebrew name from which we get the name Jesus. It's effectively the same name. So Joshua had a great name and it means the Lord is salvation. And Joshua had seen a lot of God's saving work in action. He was the eldest in his family and he was born uh, when the Hebrew people were slaves in Egypt. Joshua, like all the other eldest sons of his, of his people, were spared at the time of the Passover because they obeyed what God had told them to do. And that night of the Passover, Joshua uh, was saved from death. And then, of course, he would have walked with his people through the Red Sea as God saved his people from being recaptured by the Egyptians. And in the many years that followed, Joshua would have seen the miracles of God in the wilderness and how God provided for his people and helped them in battle. And whilst in the wilderness, he was learning from Moses, the great leader of God's people. Serving under Moses, Joshua proved to be a great leader himself, especially in battle. He proved himself to be a man of great faith. And what God gave to Moses to share with his people, to learn from and live by, was very important to Joshua. In tonight's reading, we heard of how God said to Joshua, Keep this book of the law always on your lips, meditating it day and night so that you will be careful to do everything written in it. Then you'll be prosperous and successful. So God told Joshua to treasure his teachings and they will help him to lead God's people and serve him well. But also in our passage this evening, in, 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 uh, we read of how God told uh, Joshua to be strong and courageous. But why would Joshua need to be strong and courageous? Well, you know, some things, of course, make us fearful for a short time, don't they? They, keep, they don't uh, maybe cause us to be afraid for lengthy periods of time, a momentary uh, cause of fear. 
But what really keeps us um, awake at night are the big fears. And for me, uh, the big fears often come with big decisions to be made. Uh, you know, and I know I worry about them a lot, the big decisions, maybe the ones that are going to annoy somebody, you know, that you can't please everybody. And, and, uh, and, you know, there's, you know, there's consequences perhaps to the decision you're going to make, you know, big decisions, uh, they, you know, they, they really get me, uh, afraid in many ways. And, and, you know, I, I, you know, when that happens, you know, when I've got something that I'm really afraid of going to happen, I pray about it often and I talk to people uh, about it if I can. We can wish that we had more responsibility and authority at times, but you know, with that comes the bigger decisions to be made, uh, and uh, and th that can cause us great fear and anxiety and and all the rest too. And Joshua was in that situation; he was now into a place of great responsibility. He was now going to be the person who would lead the people of Israel, um, at a critical time as they were crossing the River Jordan and into what was called the promised land and you know as joshua was doing that he was following on from a great leader the great leader moses no pressure eh you know it's not so bad following a leader who maybe was weak and fallible in so many ways uh, but when you're following someone with really big feet to, uh, shoes to fill it if you like that adds the pressure of the big decisions that you make because you're going to be compared with the last person aren't you and it's interesting that when moses was dying and um, he made Joshua leader of the nation and what did he say to Joshua he gave Joshua these really familiar words uh, which God of course said to Joshua himself in this passage from Joshua chapter 1 you know Moses said to Joshua be strong and courageous the Lord himself goes before you and will be with you he will never leave you nor forsake you do not be afraid or just do not be discouraged it's really interesting there's this echo uh, from what Moses said and what God said here in this passage this evening. So God reaffirmed the promises that Moses had given to Joshua when he was becoming the, the Israelite leader. And here was Joshua and knew the job about to lead the people into the promised land and God repeated the words of encouragement and promise. Now tonight we might have cause to be worried and even afraid. Maybe we've got big decisions to make. Maybe circumstances of life are really pressing on us maybe what we're hearing about the news is causing us to be fearful you know maybe we're worried about our health and we're waiting test results maybe we're worried about loved ones and the challenges that they're facing perhaps we're worried about businesses struggling perhaps some of your students and uh, you're worried about your studies maybe some of your parents and have kiddies doing the AQE in the morning uh, you know for some reason for some reason maybe you feel worried or afraid well we can be encouraged by the faithful God of Joshua and of us as people who follow God's son Jesus today we can claim those promises we can claim the promises of scripture Jesus promised his disciples back uh, when he said it and, and and of course disciples of all ages peace I leave with you my peace I give to you I do not give to you as the world gives so do not let your hearts be troubled or do not be afraid. And you know, like Joshua, we're not alone. Jesus promised his disciples and he promises us today. And I want to encourage you tonight, if you're worried or afraid, you're not alone in the sense that other people are, but you're also more importantly, you're not alone because God is with you. The God in whom we trust is with us. And whatever it is that we might worry about or causes us to fear tonight, let us remember those lovely words of God that he gave to Joshua. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. So let's take a moment as we pray. And maybe before the Lord in the quietness of our hearts, we want to name what is maybe causing us to be fearful, to be worried, to be afraid. And as we come before the Lord, acknowledging what it is that maybe is troubling our hearts and souls, we can take encouragement from the promise that God gave to Joshua, that Moses encouraged Joshua to know as well. We can take encouragement from these words. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go.
Amen. I'm going to turn now to the words of the Nunc and um, words that were offered by Simeon many years ago um, because he knew the God in whom he trusted. He knew the fulfilment of the promise that God had given to him when he held the Christ child all those years ago. And so Simeon said, and we share these words uh, as we offer them to the Lord in response tonight. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. So let's turn to the Lord in prayer now. So let us pray to the Lord with all of our heart and with all of our soul. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for all Christian people. We pray for our sister churches here in Armagh or whichever community in which you're joining us uh, from this evening. Asking that the people of, of God may live in love and truth. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for all ministers of the church. We pray for John, our Archbishop, and all who lead us in faith. As we also pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Amidst the complexities and fears of our world right now, let us pray for peace throughout the world. And pray for all governments, including our own. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for peace and God's blessing to be upon our neighbours and all of our friends. Lord, have mercy. Recognising strained relationships and the difficulties in the realities of life, we pray for those who hate us, as we also pray for those who love us. Lord, have mercy. And mindful of recent tragic news, of refugees uh, dying in the in the English Channel. We pray for refugees and for their safe travel. We pray for help amidst the difficulties of their predicaments. We also pray for those who are prisoners and to anyone who's exposed to the dangers of travel. Lord have mercy. Let us pray for all sick people, those known to us, whether in hospital or hospice, nursing home or in their homes, asking for God's healing and help amidst their, amidst their illness. As we also pray for those who grieve, those who are sorrowful, and for those who, for whom life is drawing to a close, we pray for the dying. Lord, have mercy. And mindful of how much God has blessed us and what we have, the reality that we live in a world where we are part of the wealthy and uh, there are so many who don't have what we have. We, let us pray for the abundance of the fruits of the earth and that the poor and the hungry may receive a just share. Lord, have mercy. And with thankfulness for all whom we have loved, let us remember our brothers and sisters who have intent, entered eternal rest. Blessed are the dead who died in the Lord. And with quietness we bring to the Lord the petitions of our heart knowing that he indeed does have mercy knowing that he hears our prayer Lord in your mercy hear our prayer and so together we pray as Jesus taught us to our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord Almighty, come and scatter the darkness of our hearts by the light of your presence that we may know you, the light of the world and the one true God, Bless this night and forevermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. May the almighty and merciful God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, bless us this night and keep us always. Amen. Folks, thanks again for joining us this evening. As always, if we can do anything for you, please don't be afraid to call and look forward to speaking again soon. Good night. God bless.